Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about half square triangles, the basic building blocks of a lot of blocks and quilting. Um, as you can see, the blocks on the wall behind me are full of half square triangles. Each one had 16, so between the three of them, that was 48 blocks that I had to cut, um, press, and trim. So it got me thinking about all the other tools that you can use to um, make half square triangles. I typically show you guys how to make them with just a regular ruler because I know there's a lot of beginners out there that just has just have a regular ruler. But today I wanted to show you two of the specialty rulers that I have that do make it just a little bit quicker and easier to trim up half square triangles. Now I did show these in my Fort Worth Fabric Studio Simply Summer video. So if you've seen that, you've already seen this, but I know there's some people who are not sewing along or not following that. So I wanted to do a quick little video and show these the tools. Now these aren't a comprehensive list. There's all kind of other tools on the market. Um, and there's other th techniques like foundation paper piecing and uh, triangle papers and things like that, where you can get half square triangles and not have to cut, you just sew on the line, which is another great way. I just wanted to show you a quick, two extra tools, ruler-like tools, that I like to use for half square triangles, and I did use on these blocks, because 48, whew, that was a lot. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So as you can see here, I've got some squares laid out. This one I've already pressed and trimmed, and that one I did with a regular ruler, which is the way I'm going to show you first. So this guy, you just, I'm going to trim these to three inches square. So I'm going to put my regular quilting ruler on the 45 degree angle marking on my ruler right on my seam line. And with this method, you have to trim all four sides. So we're going to start with the two sides and then I'm going to turn this block around and then trim this. Get the other two sides. Okay. So that is using a regular quilting ruler. Okay, so that's that. Now, the other two methods that I have is I have what's called a block lock ruler and I've got a clearly perfect slotted trimmer. And both of these have been in the industry for a while, so you've probably heard about them if you don't own them. Um, I know a lot of people have mentioned, do you use this, do you use that? And this block lock especially has come up a lot. So the block lock works, it's got a channel on the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know the light's kind of shining on it. And you set that channel right up against your seam that you've made. It kind of, if you put it against the side that's pressed the that you press towards it sets right up against there and then you move it until you get the measurement size that you want and then same thing like the regular ruler you're going to trim all four sides so i've got that trimmed i'm going to turn that around and then you also need to turn the ruler around and then trim the other two sides Okay, so there's another half square triangle trimmed, and it does trim fairly quickly, so I do like that method as well. And so far, as you can tell, they all look the same. And then, here is the last technique that, uh, that I have. Now, like I said, this is not a complete list. There's other rulers that do these things. There's um, triangle papers and things like that where you can make half square triangles. This is the Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmer. And on this ruler, I don't know if I can get it close enough to show you guys, there are markings that are dashed lines. Those you are gonna lay right on your seam line. And then you're gonna trim the excess fabric. So this way you're only trimming two sides rather than four. And then why it's called the perfect slotted trimmer is you go in these little slots to cut off your dog ears. So then you have something that looks like that. And then all you have to do is press that. So that can be a little bit quicker as well because there's, you don't have four sides to trim, you only have two, and then you're also cutting off your dog ears at the same time. 
So now all that's left to do is give this guy a press. So as you can see, no matter which method you use, all your hat square triangles are going to come out exactly the same. They've all come out the same. They're all the same size. This one looks a little wonky yet because I need to actually press it well. My iron wasn't super hot, but they're all the same. So it doesn't really matter which tool you use. It's just a matter of preference. So the main part of this video is that I wanted you to see that you don't need a specialty ruler, but if you would like to have one and want to invest in the money, they do work and they can speed up the process of hat square triangles. So this is the regular ruler and this is the half square triangle that I cut from this ruler. And then this is the clearly perfect slotted ruler. And this is the half square triangle I cut from that. So, so far you can see they look exactly the same. And this is the block lock ruler and this is the half square triangle I cut from that. So all any and all of these tools will work. And like I said, these aren't all the tools, <laughs> but these are three good choices right here and there's more choices on the market and like i said if you want a super completely precise block then you can do the triangle papers or anything like that all right well thank you for those of you who have asked me to show different specialty rulers um those are the ones i have and if i come across any more in the future i will update this and do another video but those are my favorites that i like to use right now so I hope this helped you, and um, if you wanted to know which one is my favorite out of all of them, you can ask. I may or may not tell you. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!